day after, his friend hits me up. He's like, hey, 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 what's up, y'all? So I'm back with another video, and this is going to be a juicy video. I'm going to be talking about that time that I found out I was getting cheated on. So, all right, let's just jump into the video now. Give me the background on how I met this guy and, like, how everything kind of started. All right. So, I don't know how old you guys are, but there was this app called Kick, right? So, it's pretty much, like... DMs I would say on Instagram so this person could add you through a username and then y'all will start kicking each other pretty much right so like messaging each other and then I got a notification on Instagram and I'm like oh who's trying who's trying to follow me and I'm like whatever why not I would literally accept anyone so I accepted it and then this guy is commenting on my pictures and then he's like oh like kick me and I'm just like all right for sure like why not so I kick him and I'm like, what's up? And then he's like, hey. So we start talking on the air, right? He's like, my name is so-and-so. And I'm like, my name is this. And he's like, this should have been a red flag. From the start, I should have been like, oh, bye. First time we talk, this man is talking about, I have a big ass crush on you. What? Some of you are like, you don't even know me. Like, what do you mean? and so he's like oh no like i've seen you around like i know you play soccer i know you play for this school and like you're really raw and like you're really pretty and like all this stuff you're probably like hella more in shape than i am and i'm like ha, 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 like oh my god stop it i had no clue i have never seen this dude i had never heard of him so i'm just like okay this is kind of weird cause so that's kind of like the beginning and we just kind of like start texting each other more or like kicking each other more and like all that stuff so it kind of starts like building up to it right we talked for seven months until we actually like decided to make it official just because I take things very slow. And even when I do take things slow, I still pick the wrong person. Like, how does that work, man? I am so bad. My tasting guy is so bad. Like, let me just put it out there. So because we had talked for so long, after a month of us being together, I was just like, oh, like, do you want to meet my parents? Do you want to talk to them? Because they've been asking about you and all of this stuff. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm down for it. So I'm just like, oh, like, you know, this is, it, it's becoming serious. So whatever, he goes to my house, they introduce each other, they start getting to know each other and blah, 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 all the stuff. Everything goes smooth. My dad is like, you know, like all I'm asking, like I'm not telling her not to date you or like I'm not gonna tell her who she should date or not date. But all I'm expecting for from both of y'all, from her side and your part as well, is to have that mutual respect and you know just communicate and like all of that stuff and he's like yeah yeah sir like i agree and i'm just in the back like yeah <laughs> and so everything went good right so that happened we dated for six months after that i would say we were kind of like struggling through the last month because he started acting all weird and funny again another red flag like it's so weird because like girls honestly like trust trust yourself like when you feel like something is not going straight just follow that and like get out of it before you waste two three more years because um that's kind of what happened here but um yeah anyway so he started acting weird and so i was pretty much like putting it out there like no like maybe we should break up but it was like that mutual thing of like we know it's not really working anymore or, like it's not going great but we don't want to go our separate ways either so we're like no no like let's stick it out like we can do this blah 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 well it was like our seven month uh anniversary and he broke up with me that day he was like i'm sorry to do this to you this long ass paragraph right talk about i'm sorry like i'm doing this to you like i know it's supposed to be our anniversary and like it's just i don't think this is working for me like i would rather have a friendship because like look i couldn't even see you today i think you're a really cool female so i would like to still like keep in touch with you and i'm like you're pressed because you couldn't see me today like bro like we could hang tomorrow or like another day like what so to me this just came out of nowhere like honestly out of nowhere because we had already talked you know like no we're gonna work through the issues like we're fine it's no no breaking up situation like it, we're smooth but apparently not so i'm just like oh my god so <laughs> literally i would cry in the shower i would cry when i would eat i would cry to sleep like all this dramatic stuff like girl you were not gonna die like what are you doing Ugh. but you know that's how i was feeling at the moment so i would just act on it and then my parents seen it and like they seen how i was 
you know acting weird like I wouldn't really eat that much and stuff like it actually really hit me you know and so finally my mom comes and she talks to me and she's like what's going on so I tell her you know I'm like dude like well not dude <laughs> I was like mom like we're not together anymore like this is what happened and she's like well like I understand that right now it might be hard but you gotta think about it as like people come and go you know like one is gonna leave but I'm not saying that you should move on already to the next one but just understand that you need to take your time and eventually you're gonna heal eventually you're gonna move on it was like you're gonna find someone whether it's for the worst or for the better but you're gonna find someone regardless and I was just like okay like I'm gonna trust you <laughs> so that happened but I'm still over here thinking oh like we're gonna get back together dude like you have so much feelings for him he would like still text me talk about like I still want you it's just I'm not sure about it like all this stuff no, when someone tells you that, hello. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. When someone tells you that, girls, leave. Do not waste your time. That means I'm not trying to be with you, but I want to keep you around because I don't want you to move on. That's exactly what it means. So do not deal with that. Do not settle for less. Like, honestly, I tell them all the time, I'm like, I regret meeting you. Like, I regret the relationship so much. But I don't regret what I learned from me. So if I could have learned what I learned without meeting him and without having like the entire experience, like I would, I would choose that. But it doesn't work like that, obviously. It was just pretty much like on and off. So he always wanted to get back together, and I was just like, no, because like I don't want to be hurt again, and I'm not trying to be those couples that you know, like you already met my parents, but I already told them we broke up. So I'm not trying to go back and forth like, oh, we're back together. Oh no, we're not back together anymore. So I'm like, I until I know it's something for sure and like you're ready to commit, then like it's better if they just don't know. He had this like group of friends that were not the best or so I thought. I was just like, there's such a bad influence on him. But no, someone is not, other people, like I do understand other people do have an influence on like the way you act and stuff like that. But if that's not your character, if that's not your person, no one can force you to do something that it's not in you, you know? But I didn't think of it like that, you know? I was just like, he's a good guy. Like they're just, they're bad influence on him. Me not being around as much and him starting to hang out with his people, um, he started acting like really weird and stuff, you know? So he would like actually leave his house for weeks and stuff. But I wouldn't know until I would hit his parents up like, oh, why is he not replying? Like, is he sleeping right now? Is he playing right now? And they'd be like, oh, no, like, we haven't seen him in two weeks. The last time we'd seen him or, like, the last time he came home was when he hanged out with you that time. And I'm like, oh, you didn't think it was important for me to know that, like, he's been gone? Like, what? So he, apparently, like, that wasn't the first time. So that's what they were kind of, like, used to it. But this one time, he was literally like, his phone was off, like there was no way to contact him. His phone wasn't ringing, like the texts were not going through, like all this stuff, right? So me being the person that I am, when I care about someone, I like get so paranoid not knowing if they're okay. So I'm just like blowing his phone up and he's not answering. And I'm like going back and forth between texting him and texting his parents, like, is he home now? Is he okay? Like, is he sleeping now? Like, have you guys heard from him? Nothing. So I'm just like, dude, where where could he be? Like, I know the things that he's doing are not leading him through a nice path. So like, oh my God, like, is he dead? Like, did he get kidnapped? Did they like, did he get arrested? I'm over here just like flipping out, right? All the bad things, they're like crossing my head right now. And so I'm like thinking and thinking and I'm like, boom, there you go. I'm like that one friend that he's always talking. He's always defending him. He's like, no, that's my homie. He's I'm just like, I need to find out this dude's like either Facebook, Messenger, phone number, Instagram, something. I need to find him and get in contact with him ASAP because he, he must have some answers, right? So I'm thinking so hard, like, what's his name? What's his name? I look him up on Facebook and boom, I did find him. And so I'm just like, you know what? Like, I don't care that I don't know this dude. Like, I'm just trying to know if my means, it's all right. So I'm gonna hit him up even if I, I look weird or whatever, I sound weird to him. So I actually have the messages in front of me. So I'm gonna read y'all what I said, like word by word. We're gonna name this dude, dude, whatever, just to, so I can remember. So I messaged him at 11.05 p.m. and I said, hey, is dude with you? No answer. 
15 minutes later, I say, if he is with you, can you please let him know to call me or call his mom? That was another thing about me. Like, sometimes it wouldn't even be about me, but it's just like, don't do that to your mother, dude. Like, she gave birth to you. She went through all that pain. And even now that you're grown, you're trying to give her more pain? What is you doing? The guy, his friend, we're gonna call him friend. Friend says, okay, that's fine. So I reply, so he is with you. I'm like, I'm sorry. I know you don't know me, but I'm just worried. I just want to know if he's okay. Friend says, no, he's not, but I'll let his girlfriend know. But yeah, he's all right, though. I said, girlfriend? What girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> This is when it gets interesting. His friend did what? His friend snitched on him, y'all. He said, his girlfriend, Susan. Wait, what? I thought I was the girlfriend. What you mean? Who's Susan? Like, huh, what? Oh, man. When I got this message, it was so many emotions. I was mad, I was confused, I was heartbroken. It's like, what? But I was just like, oh, I thought I was the girlfriend, but okay, thank you. Like, I'm glad to hear he's okay. Um, whenever you see him, tell him to call his mom and let her know. Never got a reply. Day after, his friend hits me up. He's like, he's like, A, I say, yes, what happened? He says, hi, how are you? <laughs> I say, what's up? Good, thank you. He's like, oh, that's good. So you're still dating, dude? <laughs> oh, man why every time I would find something out I would go straight to dude and I would confront him about it and he's so great at lying y'all like he would legit cry a river in front of my face and swear up and down that anything that anyone would come and tell me was a lie and I would believe it because like I don't just cry in front of people and make up a whole lie he had a beginning middle and an end to the story so it was legit it sounded legit so I remember when I confronted dude, he was just like, nah, dude, like this dude is just tripping because I haven't talked to him. So he's trying to get my attention. If you think about it, it's like, what kind of homie is that? Like, that sounds so weird. Like your homie is ratting you out or he's making some stuff up that is not even true because he wants your attention. Unless y'all have something romantic, then I don't see why he would do that. But obviously my damn ass back then didn't think of it like that, right? girls don't confuse your head as like what you think it is or the potential that you see in that person like see things for what they really are like honestly like that's gonna save you so much pain so much time but um obviously like I didn't do that <laughs> but just learn from me okay like anything who tell me I would believe it so yeah so he's like oh you are still dating dude or you're still with dude and I said oh that's what we're we're trying to like work out and see what's up because what you told me really upset me so I'm trying to figure out whether it's, it's true or not right and he was like if what is true I'm like what well, you told me last time that Susan is dating my dude and he said <laughs> friend replies saying look I'm gonna be honest with you you're really pretty and I would like for you to see it yourself. Oh. Ooh, this sounds like a whole novella, bro. I reply saying, so it is true. Like, why are you saying it? And he just sent some emojis. And I'm like, all right, so how would I find out then? Do you know where they meet or what? <laughs> Friend says, Oh yeah, they come to my house. They chill in my room. Hmm.
I said, what do they do or what? So they're like girlfriend and boyfriend. He said, yeah, they've been doing this for a while now. Okay. He said, they always kick me out of the room. So I don't know what goes down. I'm like, for real? So he never talked about me? <laughs> His friend said, no, never. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Huh. I reply, damn. So when was the last time they met up? He replies, <laughs> today, today, y'all. Oh, hmm. <laughs> I said, are you serious? So you're with them right now? Friend replies. No, I'm on my way to meet them. Okay. Bet. I was like, so what time are y'all supposed to meet up? He replies, mm, with an emoji. I said, mm, what? <laughs> like, what you mean, bro? You're already spilling the tea, so might as well tell me everything now don't get a reply so I sent another text I said where are y'all meeting so I could pull up over there hmm at this point friend disappear he is nowhere to be found he is not connected anymore on Facebook just didn't reply at all Wow. great didn't hear from him at all. Didn't hear what time they were gonna meet up, if I could pull up on them, what they were doing. So, it was the first time I found out he cheated. And not the last one for sure, <laughs> no. And Susan became a constant person in our relationship. Like, she was very persistent. And I'm not gonna put full blame on her. I hate when girls do this. Because, first of all, your man is the one that got the commitment with you. So press your man first. You feel me? Like, he's the one that knows he's in a relationship. And, like, she knew, too. Like, she actually followed me on, like, all my social medias. Which is kind of creepy if you think about it. Because it's like, what? Like, she followed my makeup page, my spam page, my regular page. And I didn't, like, I don't know who you are, honey. But, obviously, you're well-informed or who of who I am. But, um, yeah, like, it's so crazy, dude, because he would deny her every single time. Every single time. Like, what? She's a hoe. Like, you really think I'm messing with her? Like, she's legit been with him, 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 and him. You know, it's true what they say. When you're in love or you think you're in love, like, you're going to get blinded towards a lot of things that, like, other people see through them so easily. Um, cause I remember telling, you know, my best friend and telling other people about it and they would just be like, it don't sound right to me. Like there, there's something fishy going on there and I just wouldn't believe it, you know, but, um, yeah, y'all like that's, that's the tea. That's the story. If y'all want me to do more parts to his cheating, cause honestly I could do like 20 stories <laughs> or more than let me know. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like comment share and subscribe we do all that stuff bye